Hello Taurus, welcome back. My name is Rosa. Thank you for tuning back into Cancer Moon Oracles. I am here to bring you another weekly Love Vibes reading. This is just a general meeting. Meeting. This is just a general reading, you guys. So please take the messages how they resonate for you. I do understand that not all the messages that I channel through these cards are going to resonate for every single Taurian out there. So just take what you need and leave what doesn't resonate for you at this time. Okay, guys? However, I do always set the intention that whatever I channel through these cards, you can at least take away one thing that can help you with where you're currently at. All right? Now... Taurus, as I begin to shuffle these cards, I just want to say thank you to each and every single one of you who have liked, shared and subscribed to my channel. Um, also to I am on Instagram, so if you want to connect with me over there, feel free to do so. Uh, I offer different readings over on Instagram, so you may want to check those out. Okay, guys? All the information is in the show more section below. Um, also, the list of readings I do is there as well if you feel called to connect and book a reading with me. All right, you guys. So let's begin your reading, Taurus. I hope you've all been well. The first card that's flown out for you is the King of Swords, Taurus. So this could be you just being very blunt this week. Being very blunt, um, calling someone out on their BS. I see with the Seven of Swords in reverse that someone is going to be caught out. All right. Maybe someone around you that you're connected to has been deceiving you or hasn't been giving you full truths. They've only been giving you half truths and you're, you're the King of Swords and you're going, you know what, I... I see you, I saw what you did, maybe you, it could even be something um, that you find out online, all right? I'm picking up that you may pick up something through a message or an email or even just your socials. You may pick up something through a conversation that you read and whoever this is, this is the person around you, Um knowing that they have, you know, been deceiving you and they actually get caught out, all right? They, they get caught out, but I feel this is very necessary. Whoever you're dealing with here, it's, it's needed to happen. This needs to happen because... Because, or I'm picking up, sorry guys, I'm picking up that whatever they've been doing, it's it's unconscious behaviour. Okay, it's un, with this devil card here in the upright, it's unconscious behaviour. This is a really bad habit that... They feel that they weren't even aware of. This is just their, this was their nature. But because you've called them out, right, they're wanting to release these chains. They don't want to no longer dabble in this energy. Okay, this is someone letting go of toxic behavior. This is not serving a relationship here. This could be just as simple as someone constantly not telling you the truth. And they could be like little white lies. Okay, guys, these could just be little white lies. And it's, it's, I don't, I don't want to say it's ruining the relationship, but it's impacting the relationship. And you're just like, I don't want this. Just fucking tell me the truth. The King of Swords just wants the truth. The, the King of Swords wants truth, wants honesty, wants loyalty. 
They want this person to be within their integrity. No more BS. Now, the reason why they tell these little white lies is because they're just afraid. They're afraid. They don't want to... They're not understanding that this telling little white lies is more harmful to the connection than actually coming up and telling the truth. So I feel like they do want to change this aspect about themselves. So this is someone that you're dealing with, Taurus. Or it could be you, right? Could be your partner calling you out on some white lies. But look, you've got all this pentacles energy. Now this, this is... I see here with the Knight of Pentacles, this is someone who you're thinking about committing to, or this is someone that you are in a commitment with. All right, now they're moving very slowly here. This, they know they need to release this behavior, but it's going to happen slowly, okay? Just be patient with them and allow them to prove to you allow them to prove to you that they can actually make the change because look they're also learning too they're learning this about themselves all right now this is interesting for some of you taurians there's two knights around you you may have two potential partners around you Okay, I'm seeing you strongly as the King of Swords and you deciding between two, two people. One could be an earth sign, one could be a fire sign. Sorry for the background noise, guys. I do apologise. And I feel here like this is, this might be a habit of yours, Taurus. Like maybe you're needing to release these two people maybe either of these two nights are not good for you because one can't commit and the other one just comes in and out like this one here is not giving you the answer that you need and this one here just comes in for one thing only and then goes right because look the devil card is above the knight of wands and this could mean, look, this is just a, a relationship that you have with someone purely just for pleasure. This is someone that just comes in and out of your life for, you know. Just to fill that little void. So that's what I'm picking up there, guys. But look. Regardless, there is two potential people around you and I feel one of those people may want to make you a serious offer. All right, maybe you have caught them out, you've had enough, you're calling them out, you want answers now. And look, they've been a little bit slow to come forward, they've been a little bit slow to show you that they're here for the long haul, but maybe now they're actually going to give you a something more tangible something they want to express their loyalty and their commitment to you but it might just mean that you might have to make them aware of this Taurus you might need to bring their awareness to this because otherwise you'll be waiting forever and the, and the pentacles energy is a slow moving energy. And look, you know what? I feel this person here does want to improve themselves. They are learning about themselves. They are learning about their bad habits. Okay. Maybe this knight of pentacles can't fully tell you the truth because he's moving cautiously. Okay, he, he's got to really think before he commits. And so in the process, he's been telling you sort of half-truths. And you're like, I'm, I'm still waiting for an honest answer here. And it's not that they're being dishonest with you. It's just that they take a really long time to make a committed decision. 
So let's pick a card to close out your reading, you guys. You've got awaiting results here. So yeah, this is what I mean. You're waiting on somebody. You're waiting on somebody to commit to you because I feel like wherever you are in your relationship, Taurus, some of you are wanting to build something with this person. I see you want to grow. I see you want to build something with somebody. Um, but you're waiting on them. Sorry, I needed a drink of water. You're waiting on them to show their commitment to you. You're waiting on some kind of an offer from this page of pentacles and I feel that you will get an offer. I see this, this page is really thinking about offering you something committed and stable, something that you can build, you know, together with. And look, once they do come forward and offer you this commitment, then I feel with the Knight of Wands here showing up for others of you that it's going to happen fast. It's going to move quickly. Yeah, whatever I, I see fast moving.